Hazrat Khalid bin Walid, the Sword of Allah, a journey from opposition to legendary general. In the chapters of history, there are few warriors whose names evoke a sense of awe and reverence across centuries and civilizations. Among these legendary figures stands Hazrat Khalid bin Walid, a man whose unparalleled military genius and fervent devotion to his faith earned him the immortal title of Saifullah, or the Sword of Allah. His journey from a fierce adversary of Islam to one of its most celebrated champions is a saga of remarkable transformation, strategic brilliance, and unyielding valor. This is the story of a man who not only reshaped the fate of empires, but also left an indelible mark on the pages of Islamic history. May I request you to subscribe the channel after watching this fantastic video. Hazrat Khalid bin Walid, one of the most illustrious figures in Islamic history, was born around 592 CE into the noble and powerful tribe of Quraysh in Mecca. He belonged to the Banu Makhzum clan, which was renowned for its military heroism. From an early age, Khalid exhibited remarkable skills in warfare and strategy, which would later earn him a prominent place in the records of Islamic conquests. Before his conversion to Islam, Khalid bin Walid was one of the staunchest opponents of the new faith. He played a pivotal role in the Battle of Uhud in 625 CE, where his strategic acumen nearly led to the defeat of the Muslims. Khalid's cavalry outflanked the Muslim forces, leading to a significant setback for the Prophet Muhammad's followers. His reputation as a formidable warrior grew, and he became known for his tactical brilliance and unyielding opposition to Islam. Khalid's conversion to Islam in 629 CE marked a turning point not only in his life but also in the early Islamic military campaigns. His decision to embrace Islam was influenced by the recognition of the truth of the new faith and the realization of the futility of opposing it. Upon his conversion, Khalid pledged his allegiance to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and dedicated his exceptional military talents to the service of Islam. Following his conversion, Khalid bin Walid's achievements were nothing short of extraordinary. He swiftly rose to prominence within the Muslim community, earning the trust and admiration of the Prophet and his companions. One of his most significant contributions was his leadership in the Battle of Mutah in 629 CE, where he successfully led a retreating Muslim force against a vastly superior Byzantine army. His tactical ingenuity in this battle saved the Muslim army from annihilation and earned him widespread acclaim. Khalid's most renowned military campaigns took place during the Ridda Wars and the subsequent conquests of Persia and the Byzantine Empire. He played a crucial role in subduing the Arabian tribes that had renounced Islam after the Prophet's death, thereby consolidating the nascent Islamic State. His leadership in the Battle of Yamama in 632 CE was instrumental in defeating the forces of the false prophet Musailima securing the unity of the Muslim community. The title Saifullah, Sword of Allah, was bestowed upon Khalid bin Walid by the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him personally. This honorific was given in recognition of Khalid's unparalleled bravery, military prowess, and unwavering dedication to the cause of Islam. The Prophet acknowledged Khalid's role as a divine instrument in the spread and defense of the faith, solidifying his legacy as one of Islam's greatest generals. Khalid's military exploits extended beyond the Arabian Peninsula. His campaigns in Syria and Iraq were marked by a series of decisive victories that expanded the Muslim Empire. The Battle of Yarmouk in 636 CE, where Khalid led the Muslim forces to a monumental victory against the Byzantine Empire, is often cited as one of his greatest achievements. This victory effectively ended Byzantine rule in Syria and paved the way for Islamic expansion into the Levant. Despite his many successes, Khalid's career was not without controversy. His formidable presence and growing influence led to tensions with the second caliph, Umar ibn al-Khattab. Concerned about the concentration of power in Khalid's hands, 
Umar relieved him of his command in 638 CE. Nevertheless, Khalid accepted the caliph's decision with humility and continued to serve the Muslim community in various capacities. Here I again remind you to please like, share, and comment on the video, and also subscribe the channel Khalid bin Walid passed away in 642 CE in Homs, Syria. He died not on the battlefield, as he had often expected, but in his bed, lamenting the fact that he had not achieved martyrdom. His death marked the end of an era of relentless military campaigns and unprecedented expansion for the Islamic State. Khalid's legacy endures as a symbol of martial excellence and unwavering faith, and his title, Sword of Allah, remains a testament to his pivotal role in the early years of Islam. Thank you for watching.